Hello and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I'm James Curry with the Communication Department. I'm talking to Derek Scott. He is the Environmental Health Services Director here at MCHD. Derek, how are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. Hello. Again, you're down right down the hall from me. Um, now we're talking about Environmental Health Services Week, but let's first establish what is environmental health. Well, uh, once again, Jane, thanks for having us here for Environmental Health Week. Well, environmental health is a science of practice of preventing human injury and illness and then promoting uh, well-being uh, for Mobile County residents and other residents. Yeah, there, you know, people think that um, all we have is medical services here. So there are a lot of, um, I guess we can go into that in just a moment, a bunch of different programs that are under environmental health. So tell me why environmental health is so important to us in Mobile County. So um, environmental health has a lot of um, um, categories that we um, have here in Mobile County Health Department. We have air quality, water quality, um, food safety. We also have uh, climate change, vector, and pests. Uh, specifically for environmental health services here in Mobile County, uh, we have three programs. We have inspection services, we have on-site services, and then we have vector services. Inspection, inspection services was the old food and lodging, and they do inspections uh, for sanitary and safety reasons uh, for restaurants. Um, any business in the county of Mobile who wants to sell food to a customer in Mobile County has to be permitted by Mobile County Health Department. And so they go in and inspect for sanitary, career, uh, sanitary reasons and give them a score for that. They also inspect uh, hotels and motels for sanitary conditions, and they also inspect daycares, swimming pools, uh, body art piercings, body piercings and art piercings as well. And they also do um, foodborne illness complaints throughout Mobile County. So that's inspection services. And they also inspect uh, special events, uh, temporary food uh, providers such as doing Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. um, the other um, program is on-site. On-site is wastewater disposal, which is septic tanks. So uh, on-site goes out and inspect septic tanks for leaks. They also inspect the installation of septic tanks, uh, which we know septic tanks play a very big part in uh, the environment because if the septic tank is not working properly, some of the um, um, components of that uh, septic tank can leak into our groundwater and our fresh waters, and that water can go into our rivers, lakes, um, things of that nature as well. <clears throat> right. So, I mean, obviously there is a direct health concern for all of those avenues. I mean, the things that we inspect, uh, restaurants say, especially if the food is uh, not prepared properly, our food's not held in the right temperature, uh, you know, it can make a lot of people sick. Uh, same thing with uh, you know, say body art facility for a tattoo or something. If uh, you know the instruments that they use are not cleaned and sanitized, um, you know people could uh, you know get you know contact um, something from that. So uh, and especially like you mentioned for on-site too, if um, there's a problem with a septic system and then that issue gets into our drinking water or water supply. So yeah, you know we there's a lot of things that. People just don't know that we do. Um, so this week, Environmental Health Services Week, which is September 12th through the 16th, we're going to be highlighting some of those services. So can you talk a little bit about what we'll be doing for this week in particular? Okay, so um, I'm going to say Environmental Health Week uh, for the Mobile County Health Department will be September 12th through the 16th, uh, we will have various um, activities. The first activity will showcase the uh, three departments of environmental health, like I just mentioned. On um, Monday will be uh, vector services. Now I didn't get into the vector services, but vector services is responsible for mosquito and rodent control in Mobile County. So we will showcase vector services Monday and we will showcase uh, some of the um, services that we provide over there in vector services. The most notable one in vector services 
is the spray trucks, the night spray trucks, where they have 50 routes that they will uh, do during the summertime and, and uh, spray for mosquitoes. And we also have daytime uh, inspectors who go out and, and spray as well during the daytime. That's the most visible part of Vector. But we also have um, outreaches that we do to let people know how to um, help control mosquitoes uh, in your backyard, like some of the recommendations are stagnant water. Make sure all the stagnant water in your yard is uh, poured out because that's a breeding ground for mosquitoes. And like we said, in environmental health, mosquitoes can breed um, several diseases like West Nile virus, uh, Triple E, and other um, um, uh, mosquito-borne illnesses. So Monday will showcase uh, vector services. Tuesday, we will uh, showcase uh, on-site services. And like I said, on-site, people are the waste disposal, uh, septic tank, they're out on Schillinger Road. We'll um, also give you more in-depth um, um, information about how uh, wastewater can get in the system of the lakes, rivers, and how to help prevent uh, that by calling on-site if you have a problem with your septic tank. On that Wednesday, we'll do inspection services. Like I said, I mentioned inspection services does restaurant inspections. Um, and we'll um, go into detail about what it takes uh, for a restaurant to open, the scores, uh, what we look for, um, and how you can know that the restaurant uh, um, has been inspected by the Mobile County Health Department uh, for safety and sanitation uh, reasons. And all the other things that I mentioned earlier would be in articles um, which we put out by the communications here at Mobile County Health Department, just to give you a little bit more idea of how important environmental health services are within the community because environmental health equals or is just as important uh, to somebody's health as any other health um, like medical. So, and on that Thursday, we will have an article of um, from the lead um, um, department, um, with, which is educational. So they'll do home lead. And then Friday, um, health equity office. Uh, we partner with the health equity officer office on this environmental health service week and then they will have an article on um, health equity and environmental health um, and then that saturday we're going to close it all out with a community service project with our community partners um, alabama coastal foundation um, keep mobile beautiful alabama department of conservation and natural resources and we're going to team up with them to do a cleanup uh, on the waterways. Um, this is a yearly event that's already um, taking place during September the 17th. We're just piggybacking with the Alabama Coastal Foundation. But as far as Mobile County Health Department is concerned, we are focusing on one area and that is the area of uh, Mount Vernon and also up at um, the Moa Choctaw Indians. Uh, so we are partnered with them to go up there had the volunteers uh, go up there and help clean up that um, community up there on September 17th. So we all look for volunteers uh, for the Mobile County Health Department employees and anybody who wants to come out and uh, help us doing that Saturday's uh, event. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of um, things that people just don't know that we do other than just medical services. So um, we didn't talk about it. Let's just leave it as a teaser for people to be able to go to our website to find out why does the health department have chickens? So go to mchd.org and you can read a little bit about why the health department has chickens and what we use those chickens for, which, uh, you know, goes a little bit about what you're talking about there for the spray trucks and the aerial spraying. So I'm going to leave the rest of that there. People can do their homework on our website, but Derek, thanks for being here on Wellness Wednesday and letting us focus on Environmental Health Services Week. Uh, thanks again. Uh, thank you for having us. And uh, like I said, we look for volunteers on September 17th to come out and help us clean up the Mount Vernon and Moa Choctaw Indian area. Thanks a lot. That's right. And then that information will be on our website and also on our social media channels also too. So you can find out where to meet up with us to work on those coastal cleanup areas. So thanks again.